Welcome back to the Good to Watch channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, a massive signal is flashing on the Bitcoin chart, while a new signal just confirmed in the short term for the price of Bitcoin, while Ethereum is still repeating history, running into a critical level of support. So I'll be talking about all of that and more later in the video, so definitely watch to the end. First of all, taking a look at the four-day Bitcoin chart, and as of right now, the price of Bitcoin has not changed at all over the last one day on this chart right here, and the same can be said about this chart right here, because as of right now, the price is still trading in between this support and this resistance. So once again, over the last one day, this chart has not really changed all that much. So if we're taking a look at this daily Bitcoin chart, what we are right now seeing in the price of Bitcoin is another retest of this area of resistance in between a around 60 to 61,000 approximately. And based on this volume profile indicator right here, we do have a little bit of resistance right here at approximately 61.9K, so just below 62,000. And we have some more resistance at around 63,000 and a significant area of resistance in between around 67,000 to 68.3K. And so obviously we still have a lot of resistance right now that's above the price of Bitcoin. But if we can start seeing some breakouts here above these key levels of resistance, then in that case, usually when we break out above resistance, that flips into new support, which would be bullish price structure. But at least for now, we're still yet to really see that actually happen. And as for support, we still have this significant area of support in between around 56 to 57,000. And we have a lot more support down towards around 51 to 50. 53,000, mainly based on the volume profile indicator. And with that being said, if we're staying on the daily Bitcoin charts, but taking a look at the DXY, this is the US dollar index. And as of right now, this is actually crashing. That is right. We are seeing the value of the US dollar relative to other currencies basically crash in value at the moment. And the last time we saw a move like this to the downside of this size, that was right back here around October entering into November last year. And if we're looking at what happened in the price of Bitcoin during that period in the market right there when the DXY was very bearish, of course, if we're looking at the price of Bitcoin during that period, we saw a lot of bullish price action for the price of Bitcoin. And of course, there's been other times where we've seen a pullback in the DXY coinciding with a major move to the upside in the price of Bitcoin and vice versa. When the DXY is bullish, that's often bearish for the price of Bitcoin, as we can see time and time again. Now, obviously, it's not a 100% perfect indicator that's accurate all the time, but it is very accurate most of the time. And as we can see here, what this is telling us right now is that we should actually be expecting potentially some more bullish price action starting to soon play out here for the price of Bitcoin because right now the DXY is basically dumping at the moment. And once again, when the DXY is crashing, usually that means more bullish price action is likely coming for the price of Bitcoin. And so just keep this in mind, right now a major bullish signal is flashing for the price of Bitcoin that we need to pay attention to. But with that being said, of course, we cannot forget about these other levels of resistance along the way where the price is most likely going to struggle at if we continue to see more bullish price action here in the short term. And so as always, we cannot rely on just one chart by itself and just look at this one chart and ignore other charts. Obviously, we need to consider as many different charts and indicators and patterns as we can to try and figure out what is the most likely scenario moving forward. And we also need to consider different time frames because different time frames can tell us different stories. So for example, if we're looking at the four day chart or the two day chart at the moment, at least for now, the trend is technically bearish. But during this bearish trend on this time frame, if we're zooming into a smaller time frame like this two hour chart, for example, we can see that technically speaking, the trend is a little bit more bullish at the moment because we're looking at a small time frame, the short term. So really when we're zooming out, this short term bullish trend is basically just a bit of a relief during a slightly larger bearish trend. And with that being said, if we're zooming into the short term, looking at that two hour Bitcoin chart, obviously just a few days ago, we played out that bullish divergence basically exactly as expected over the last few days. And I said over the last couple of days, expect a bit of a bullish relief with some choppy sideways price action in between. And that's exactly what we have seen as expected. But we have just now confirmed a 
and new bearish divergence on the two hour Bitcoin charts with lower highs confirmed in the two hour Bitcoin RSI and higher highs confirmed in the Bitcoin price in the candle closes. And so obviously this is basically the opposite of a bullish divergence telling us that instead of a bullish relief, we're most likely going to see a bit of a short term pullback or at the very least just some choppy sideways price action. So basically a break from all of this bullish price action that we've seen in the short term over the last few days. And so once again, what I am now expecting just in the short term for the price of Bitcoin is price action similar to this, something like this, where we're basically not going in a straight line to the downside, but basically looking a little bit more bearish over the next couple of days. But of course, we can see a little bit of volatility in between. Obviously, nothing moves in a straight line. But once again, this short term cool off over the next couple of days could just last for a few days and then potentially continue on with a bullish relief, especially if we continue seeing this bullish signal flash with the DXY crashing to the downside. Once again, this could potentially result in some more bullish price action later on, potentially after we see this bearish divergence play out over the next one or two days. And if you want to actually trade these moves in the price of Bitcoin or any other crypto, personally, I take just about all of my trades over on Bybit. So I'll make sure to leave a link to Bybit down below this video in the description and in the pinned comment. And if you use that link down below this video to make a Bybit account and deposit on that account, then you can get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus, but only if you use that link down below this video. And also, if you use that link, it'll take you to this page right here, which is a massive lucky draw happening right now over on Bybit, but only if you use the link down below this video, you can actually enter this lucky draw to claim those extra bonuses as well, and also potentially win up to $100,000 just by trading crypto using the link down below this video. And so if you're going to be trading crypto anyway, you might as well check this out. Once again, first link down below this video. But for whatever reason, if you cannot access Bybit or if you cannot KYC on Bybit, there is also Bitflex, which is another crypto exchange similar to Bybit, but you don't need KYC for Bitflex. And so I'll also make sure to leave a link to Bitflex down below this video as an alternative crypto exchange. And with that being said, taking a quick look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map. And right now we have just taken out a little bit more liquidity to the upside, which was sitting at around 61 and a half thousand to give or take. But with that being said, we still have a little bit more liquidity to the upside at around 61.9K to 62.1K give or take. And so potentially in a couple of days from now, once again, after we see this bearish divergence play out here in the short term, we could potentially come up to take out that liquidity, which is still sitting there. So that's that's still a level to pay attention to. And other than that liquidity right there, the next major levels of liquidity are basically this level at around 57 and a half thousand. And we have a little bit more liquidity at just underneath 56,000 and also a small amount of liquidity closer towards around 63 to 64,000. But at least for now, the liquidity that we have at around 62,000 give or take is still much more compared to these other levels on this chart right here. And with that being said, taking a look at Ethereum on the three day time frame, right now the trend is technically still bearish. As I've been saying for a while now on the channel, technically we're seeing lower highs and lower lows, which is what a bearish trend is. But of course, during this bearish trend, we can see some bullish price action here and there, even during a bearish trend. Yes, that can actually happen as I've been saying here on the channel. And of course, we have been seeing a bit of a bullish relief just in the short term during this bearish trend. And as of right now, the RSI is still sitting really close to oversold territories here on the three day time frame. So we're still likely going to see a little bit more of a relief or a break from all of the bearish price action here. And honestly, I'd not be surprised if we just play out a bit more of a sideways consolidation here in the short term, basically in between this support and this resistance. First of all, this support is sitting at around two and a half thousand and this resistance is sitting at around 2.8K. And if we're zooming into the short term, looking at the six hour time frame, right now, the price of Bitcoin is coming into contact with this line of support, which is sitting in between around two and a half thousand to 2.6K. And we're also still seeing very similar price action right now to what we saw back here at around April 2020. And so as of right now, the price is simply just neutral in the short term. We're playing out a lot of sideways price action here in the short term, and we're likely going to continue to play out sideways price action, which I've already been talking about over the last few days and has already been playing out exactly as expected. And once again, the support and resistance to pay attention to is basically just two and a half thousand for support and 2.8K for resistance. And I would only expect 
expect more bullish price action for the price of ETH if we actually confirm a breakout above 2.8K. So once again, if we don't break out above 2.8K, don't expect to move up towards above $3,000 or anything like that. Once again, 2.8K still needs to be broken first. And if we actually break that level, then in that case, honestly, we could expect to move back up well above $3,000 simply based on what we saw back here. We're likely going to see a move back up above $3,000 very quickly, but only if we confirm a breakout above 2.8K, which right now has not happened. And so until then, once again, we're likely going to see basically some choppy sideways price action as the most likely scenario and if 2.5k breaks then expect a retracement down towards these local lows based on these candle closes right here sitting at roughly around 2.3k and with that being said taking a look at the price of Solana on the daily time frame and right now Solana is still trading right around this area of support in between around 139 to 144 so right now that's still the support to pay attention to but if we see a further break to the downside here with confirmation and especially if we flip this area into new resistance then in that case the next major area of support to the downside is sitting in between 120 to 128 and as for resistance we still have a lot of resistance at around 159 to 163 give or take and we have more resistance in between 170 to 175 and significant resistance in between 183 to 187. And overall, the short term and the larger trend is still very neutral because obviously, as I've been saying for a while now on the channel, the larger trend at play for the price of Solana is basically a massive sideways price range with relatively horizontal highs and horizontal lows. So the larger trend at play is neutral. And if we're looking at the short term, this is also looking very neutral as the price is still trading right around support, but we're also lacking any bullish momentum as of right now. Now, which is why we're seeing a lot of choppy sideways price action in the short term as well. And now for the holders out there, for the people holding Solana or holding any cryptos that are just playing out this choppy sideways price action, obviously this can be very boring. But for the traders out there, this is a gold mine in crypto because you can actually make a lot of easy profits in crypto with choppy sideways price action just like this. And if you want to know how to do that, then check out the video in the bottom left of your screen right now, because that video right there shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. And the video in the top left shows you how you can profit from bullish or bearish price action using long positions or short positions. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.